What's up you guys, it's Flipptronics. So I'm gonna be helping you guys uh, troubleshoot if you're having an issue with Touch ID not working on your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. So yes, Touch ID is a cool feature when it works, but I think that anyone uh, having issues with it realizes it doesn't always work correctly. There's some things you guys can do, and you can always switch to a passcode. Uh, you can even switch to a four digit passcode now, which is really awesome. Ever since the iOS 10 update, uh, you can now you know use a four digit instead of a six digit so that's pretty easy but anyways um, some of the things you guys could do to try to get the fingerprint to work try restarting your phone if you've had your iPhone on for too long it could be overheating that could be an issue another thing you guys could try to you know check for make sure the buttons not sticky at all if your hands are you know a little sticky or you know have got some dirt or whatever on it that could be an issue another thing I've seen to you guys you need to hold your finger down long enough for touch ID to work sometimes people don't hold their finger down long enough uh, you know, that's another thing. You could also go ahead and, you know, clear out your uh, your fingerprint and then re-enter it. I mean, that's another thing that I've done in the past that'll get it to work. Let's just, you know, get into here. So, uh, what you guys would want to do, just delete your fingerprint uh, and then, you know, put your fingerprint in again. You could do that. But, you know, you also have an option to switch to a passcode. Like I said, uh, passcodes are really easy. They take a, a little bit longer than just doing the fingerprint, but, you know, um, like I said, there's a couple different options for uh, passcodes now, which I want to just show you guys. So, as soon as you, you know, go to the passcode options, you'll see that you can, you know, switch to a alphabetic custom and then a four digit so normally it's a six digit but if you guys you know want to get away from using the fingerprint and touch ID you could just switch over to that uh, but other than that you guys um, you could always try to run an iOS update to get the fingerprint sensor you know working again uh, as long as you guys didn't you know drop your phone off a 20-story building or you know dump it in water you should be able to get it working again it's just that sometimes you have to re-enter it sometimes your hands are sticky and sometimes it just doesn't work so I mean it's a cool feature when it works but it doesn't always work if you guys are really having any issues with it and uh, you know you want to use it but it's just not working correctly you could always give Apple support a call they're pretty good about uh, you know helping you troubleshoot it but anyways I would appreciate a like and a share on this you guys as always stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel